Welcome to the introduction to Unreal Ed. In this video, we're going to talk to you a bit about what Unreal Ed is, what it can do, what it's not really designed to do, and give you an overview of what to expect over the next series of videos as we introduce you to the Unreal Ed user interface. So for starters, Logan, what exactly is Unreal Ed? Well, Unreal Ed is the level editor application for Unreal Tournament. It is the program that you'll use to design the layout and the blueprints of a level, and then to turn around and breathe life into that level through the use of many diverse digital assets. That means going into that level and adding things like models, like textures, like materials, and then on top of those, adding in lighting and sound effects, adding all of the elements you need to make a very rich environment for your level. That's right. It's how you uh, bring in those assets and control their placement, because, I mean, you're the level designer. You get to control where lights are, where weapons are going to be picked up, where vehicles are placed. I mean, if you're building a capture the flag map, you control where the flags are. Every single thing out there you have control of, you get to place those and edit those as a part of the uh, level design experience. So what is it that Unreal Ed can do? Well, the answer is a lot of things, but an overview of uh, a good chunk of them would be create the shape of your levels, as Logan was saying, kind of create that blueprint. And you're going to do that through BSP, which is something that we'll talk about a little bit later. You're going to combine a series of uh, of, uh, kind of, I want to say brushes, but I don't want to jump the gun too quickly. You're going to combine a series of shapes to form the overall schematic of your level, and then you're going to populate that level with assets, things like structures and decorations. They're called static meshes, and we'll talk a bit about those in the future. You're going to add lighting and control your shadows. You're going to add and edit sound effects. You can add uh, particle-based special effects, such as explosions, smoke, fire, or uh, you know teleportation effects when you see something break up into little tiny motes of dust and things things like that. You can create and add dynamically interactive elements, such as crates that you can pick up and throw around. Uh, you can create scripted sequences, which allow you to control various gameplay events, like maybe you're playing through a level, and as soon as you go into a room, all the lights go out, and you get stormed by 50 bots all trying to kill you all at once. That would be a scripted sequence, and we're going to talk about how you can create those. Uh, you can create materials, which will serve as the paint that you apply to your level surfaces. You can create realistic terrain-based landscapes, and so much more. More. There's a lot of things that Unreal Ed can do. However, there are a few things that Unreal Ed isn't really designed to do, and I don't want to give anybody the idea that uh, by opening up Unreal Ed, they can accomplish absolutely everything they need to create their own game, because that's not really the case. First off, Unreal Ed is not here as a modeling application. It's not here for you to create your own models, like your own characters or static meshes or weapons. Uh, it's not a texturing application. You're not going to create the paint that goes on the surfaces of your, uh, of your various objects in your, in your levels. It's also not really here to create complex animations, such as those used by characters. You're not going to use Unreal Ed to make a character run or jump or fire a weapon. No, what the sa oh, go ahead, please. Well, what it comes down to is that each of these different aspects that you've described are in themselves so detailed that there's actually software available for each individual one and often many different kinds of software for each individual aspect. So rather than make a one giant program that tries to handle every single aspect of digital content creation imaginable, instead it's used to combine assets from other more dedicated programs. So we can have an entire software suite that does nothing but generate sound and music and instead use that to create a final product that is pulled into the game. That's right, but if you're a little bit concerned by that, please don't worry about it, because when you get Unreal Tournament 3 uh, included with it are thousands upon thousands of digital assets available for you to use and populate your levels with. Things like static meshes, which can be uh, anything from a stairway or a walkway, to something uh, inane like a wall decoration, or you know a little uh, a light fixture to go into the ceiling. There are thousands of meshes, thousands of materials, there are sound effects for you to apply, Lots of different things that you have already prefabricated and ready for your use. Uh, if you'd like to venture on beyond that and create your own models, create your own textures, you will need external applications, 3D applications such as uh, 3ds Max or Maya or texturing applications such as Painter or Photoshop. Now, with that out of the way, let's take just a second and uh, give you an overview, kind of talk to you a bit about what to expect from some of the upcoming videos. We're about to introduce you to the Unreal Ed user interface, and we're going to break it down into a series of very small video chunks going over specific portions of the interface. We are not really intending you to watch these all uh, in a linear fashion, to go video by video. Instead, think of them like a video reference. Now, you're more than welcome to read, uh, read through them, <laughs> to watch them 
them all one by one as if you wanted to uh, read the dictionary, but you might find it's easier for you if you just go ahead and, you know, watch them as you need to. If you need to look up a single section, maybe you want to know uh, what the toolbox does or what some part of the toolbox does, you'll have a video specifically for that. So with that, we're going to uh, draw this video to a close, and in the next video, we're going to take a look at a general overview of the Unreal Ed user interface. Thanks.